Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Mods, and today we are going to be doing issue three of Build the Ecto One. So let's get modelling. Right, so let's have a look at the magazine. <clears throat> I must admit, I thought this was a mistake because it only came with one magazine. And I'm thinking, well, where's issues four, five, and six? But, and then I've never seen this before, this is now monthly. So it's actually, this one magazine is telling me what I need to do for the next four issues, which I've never heard of before. So, yeah. So, first, like I said, with the Eagle Moss, we go straight to the instructions at the front. And then we've got all the parts that we're actually doing in the next few issues right at the front we have the instructions now what i am going to have to do to get to the magazine itself is skip quite a bit forward because like i said this is it's half a page of instructions so yeah we have a bit on slimer here the story of slimer in this magazine and um, the creation of him i quite liked slimer when i was a kid uh yeah more about him so yeah and Harold Ramis, yes, he actually wrote Ghostbusters, the uh, movie. I bet he'd be turning his grave after what they did, the female version of it. Uh, quite a lot about him in this magazine. More about him. And then again, it's showing us what we're going to get in next month's issue. Okay, so let's go to this, this week's. And here we have stage there we go we have stage three and what we're going to be doing we're going to be working more on the uh, front grille so we have the front bumper left light casing right foot fog light casing and whatnot and we're actually going to be needing this that we did on a previous issue right there okay so let's get to the instructions like i said they're always at the front on eagle moss and then we have the parts which we need to get into so let's have a little bit of fun getting into these so i'm hoping at some point they'll stop sending them in this packaging because i just yeah i can't i find everything goes everywhere i have been having a bit of luck with it lately but uh, yeah bob that down to my bin and what we need to do turn it over and peel it it to crack it open and like so we got into it not as bad as what I thought right so looks like we've got some nice screws in this one we've got some DP screws we haven't had any of them yet we've got some BM screws okay we have had them and we have some a p screws and yes we have had some of them as well i'm just looking at my little pill box and what we're going to need first of all if i just come to this we're actually going to need the ecto one number plate because the first thing it's asking us to do is to get this part here and it wants us to slot it in to place and i believe going this way around okay and then he wants us to screw it in with some bm screws so let's get into these bm screws we've got three of them and let me get my screwdrivers and there it is like i said last time i um said i remagnetized them and now they are working better than ever before and when it comes to remagnetizing them again, I'll give you a short video on how to remagnetize the screwdrivers. So let's screw that one in. Not too tight because we don't want to break the plastic. Okay, and we get the next one. And screw that one in. And as you can see, there we have the famous Ecto one front number plate so what it's asking us to do next is we need to assemble the fog lamps 
So these are these little things here. And I'm just seeing if we've got a direction on them. Right, so inside here we have the right hand side. And this would be equivalent to this side of the vehicle. Okay, so first of all, it's asking us to put these lenses in. And again, these are directional because they have a little R in them. Now, I presume they only go in one way. Nope, that's the wrong way. So they have to only go in one way. Which I'm thinking, I believe, is this way. And that doesn't look like it's in properly. And I believe, yeah, they're in properly. So we have the R thing. And then what it wants us to do next is to get these covers. And it wants us to screw into place. Now they have got numbers on it. This is R1. This is R2. Okay. So R1 wants to go towards the end. Let's just try and get that in. Is that in all the way? Let's have a look. Seems to be. And it wants us to secure these in with some AP screws. So we'll get some AP screws. And try and screw these in. So I'm going to put one in just a little bit to hold it. And then I will put another bit in on top. So secure that down. Secure this other one down, making sure it's gone down fully. Just tighten up the other one. And there we have the first cover lens in. Now I know some people have been uh, a bit upset that these aren't lit up. Um, I might, might do a mod for them. I might. Um, I'm not. I'm not that great with LEDs. Um, and trying to work out how to use LEDs but I might might have a think about modding them and putting some lights in but uh, I think that'll be a way down when we start doing the electrics or we'll see what people have done and they might bring it out for us to uh, to buy but and then again it depends on cost so there we go that's them um, other two in and then basically it wants us to do the same on the other side. So let's get them lenses out. See if I can get it right first time. Yep, I got it right first time. And again, we've got the L1 and L2. So L1 in the corner. Just try and get this round. If not, there we go. And again, we are screwing it in with a P screws, which a lot of people have been saying they think this AP will be the main screw in this build. So we'll wait and see on that one. I think somebody said if the screws end in an M, they are for metal. And if they end in a P, they are for plastic. So, and these are AP, so they are actually going into plastic. Okay, so we'll just put the last cover on for the lenses on the left side. Um, funny thing about this, this one was... Uh, we, it was Friday, it was Valentine's Day, and I was actually waiting for a delivery because I bought my wife uh, 
a new light pad for Valentine's Day. It was all secret and hush hush about it. She had no idea whatsoever um, about it coming. And so I was expecting it, the knock at the door, any time. And then suddenly a royal va mail van pulled up. Now this is six o'clock at night. I'm thinking, okay, you know, must be working late. So didn't think anything of it. Next minute, knock at the door. I'm thinking, right, who can that be this time? Six o'clock or I'm thinking, oh, Amazon finally. And it was the postman. He was delivering parcels at six o'clock at night. Um, which I've never seen before or heard of before. So yeah, it was a little bit of a surprise. So, so, right, that's now completed. So we have the right and the left side done. Now, just turn the magazine over. The next thing it wants us to do is it wants us to get this part here. And we are securing the right-hand side down to this side. And it wants us to do that with DP screws. And we haven't had DP screws in this build yet. So, and they're quite big and chunky, and the DP screws, so let me just get it on my screwdriver. So, put a bit in the way, and then just securing it in. That's using the wrong screwdriver. Now that is quite tough to go in and you don't want to break it. So just give it a little more of a tighten. That's fine. And then again, we're to do the same on the other side. It can only go in one way. Oops. Screwdriver. Let me load my screwdriver up. And put that final screw in again try not to over tighten but to tighten enough that it doesn't move around too much i might just give that a little bit more of a tighten there we go okay so now we've completed that and now it wants us to bring over this part over here and it wants us to have it that way and what we're simply to do is we're going to bring it up and slot it in Okay, and then again, that is held in with DP screws. So I'm going to do the middle one first, so it'll hold it. Oh, oh. bit of a fiddly. There we go. I'm just going to put these screws in partly because I want them to make sure it's all lined up and then I can tighten them all back up. I am impressed with this model though. I must admit it is, uh, we've had a lot to do for the first few issues, which is nice. <laughs> So let me just put this last one on and then I'll go and tighten them all up. Well, I'll tighten this one up first. Tighten that one up. Tighten the middle one up. And I just finished tightening that one up. And that is the finished assembly. And that looks quite nice actually, so looking at it, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. So let's have a look what's coming in the next issue, because that's always uh, good to know. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to go back and look for stage four. And in stage four, we're actually going to do one of the tyres uh, and the rims. So not a lot to do in that one. And I tell you what, sneak peek. Number five, we're actually going to be starting on the gearbox 
and then on to the engine as well so that should be quite fun but that's going to be in future episodes so well that's it for this issue guys thank you for watching uh i quite enjoyed that it sort of shows what the width of the uh, vehicle is going to be when it's all complete now with that front grille being done so if you like this video give it a like if you haven't done it already please subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye for now guys bye